take us through getting that goal tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously on the penalty kill, and then mm -hmm. Coots made a great pass to me, and I felt like I had a lot of room, so just skated up there, and then I felt like they backchecked pretty hard on, I'm not even sure who it was with me, but felt like I had the good shot, and took it, and luckily went in. Came back and said he was uh, yelling from the penalty box for you to pass the coos. Did you hear him on the ice? I didn't hear him. And <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to try and make that pass. I'm going to shoot that one. So. <laughs> Sean, what's, what's it like it being part of this blue line where it's a lot of young guys sort of rotating in and out? You've been around. You've been a veteran for a little while. What's your role and, and how have you guys think you've played as a core through four games here? Yeah, you know, I think we've actually done a really good job, you know, helping each other out. Everybody's on the same page. Um, personally, you know, I think I just have to be a trusted player out there. Um, you know, they're going to put me out if you're playing top four minutes against some really good players. So you got to make sure you're not making any mistakes and capitalize when you can. Are you at the spot in your career where, you know, you can talk to some of these young guys, give them advice, help them out on certain things? And, and do you do that? Is that part of your... Yeah, trying to. Yeah. You know, I think, uh, you know, criticism is part of it. But, you know, it's constructive. No one's ever jumping down everybody's throat. And just pointers here and there. And, you know, like I said, everybody's been great. You know, we're, we're a pretty young decor, I think. Seals is the oldest guy besides Stalzy, and um, you know everybody's just helping each other out. It's been a, it's been a great group so far. Sean, when you're on the uh, you know knowing who you're up against, and you go down to five defensemen when Mark kind of leaves the game mid second period, there's going to be increased roles and in ice time for everybody at that point. How much are the guys on the bench just kind of supporting that and kind of trying to pump everybody up for that situation? Yep, you know it's the same thing. You know you always got to know who you're out against, obviously, especially against that team with some of the guys they have. So. You're just aware of it, and you know you can't get away from the game plan. You still want to be on your toes, not sit back on your heels and just let them come at you. So, you know, I think everybody did a great job, bought into it, and we were pretty successful tonight. Going back to the uh, the shorthanded goal, obviously, you know, you take a shot, it gets set up by by Coots breaking up the play for McDavid. I know you didn't maybe play against him a ton, but he's been in the league for a while. You got to play against him. Does he? You know, now that you're on the same team with him, does he look like the same guy he was from before the injury? Yeah, I mean. Uh, you know, I think a lot of the things go unnoticed that he does, but the D zone's been spectacular. The way he, like you said, can break up plays, calm things down for us, um, and obviously he has that offensive ability too. So I think everybody's been super impressed with him, the way he's come back and battled over those last two years. And he's uh, he's a huge addition, obviously, and the guys love having him around. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Sean. Thanks, Sean.